Hey guys, Susie here. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I'm coming at you with another Dollar Tree haul. I am doing my weekly Dollar Tree haul for this week and I just got back and if you guys hear a little bit of background noise it's because my air conditioner is running and it's a little bit loud and I'm like literally right next to it um, because we don't have central air here. Yeah. Anywho, it's super hot out. Um, it's been like steaming every single day and it's also been raining so it's super humid. So I've got the air conditioner running and yeah. But today I've got another uh, five bags of stuff from the Dollar Tree. Just got back. You guys, if I could, I swear I would spend all my money in the Dollar Tree. I mean, I could spend a hundred dollars like easily in the Dollar Tree. I have to literally Sometimes I have to stop myself and be like, Susie, put that back. You know you don't need it. Put it back. Yeah, because otherwise I really would. So anyway, there is a lot of stuff. Let's get started and see what I got this week. So uh, first of all, I got two of these, and it's not anything special, but we were out, so I picked up two. These are the Sparkle uh, paper towels with thirst pockets. And uh, I was going to get the Bounty Basic they had, but it seems like they didn't have as many sheets, so... I picked up these two. Um, this one just kind of has like some kind of bike, bicycle people riding bicycles or something on it. And this one just has some words um, on it, like worry, no worries, keep calm or something. So I picked up two of these just because we needed some. And I love getting my napkins at the Dollar Tree, so I picked up this 160 count of napkins from the home store. I'm always picking up napkins there. We were out, so picked up some more. And by the way, anything that you guys don't see in my haul, um, there are pictures of things that I upload onto my Instagram page, like things that I find that are really cool, but I either don't need them or I just didn't really want to buy them. Um, I do post pictures of them there, so you guys can check out even more stuff on my Instagram. Okay, so moving on, um, I picked up this Arm & Hammer plus OxyClean Dirt Fighter Pet Fresh Carpet Odor Eliminator. And this is one of those things that you um, just kind of sprinkle onto your carpet uh, before you vacuum and it kind of gets up all the pet odors and other odors in your carpet. And yeah, um, you know, my carpet just probably needs some refreshing. And I saw this, it was the first time I actually seen the Arm & Hammer brand there and I thought, I'm going to pick this up and try. It also says um, vacuum booster. It loosens and helps lift up to 25% more dirt. So maybe it'll help get my carpet even cleaner. So picked up some of that. I picked up one of these uh, Cooking Concepts cake decorating kits that come with all these little attachments and things. And basically it's just like a pastry bag that you can use to decorate a cake or whatnot. And I'm actually making my dad a Father's Day cake, so I was going to need something to like write the um, letters on there with and stuff like that. So I just thought I'd pick this up and um, you can also make borders with and stuff, which is kind of cool. So yeah, pick that up. Not bad for a dollar. I picked up one of these to try out for lunch. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to like it or not. They had several different kinds. This is the Golden Crust Jamaican Style Vegetable Patty, also known as an empanada de verduras. Do ver I don't know. I really don't know. I'm not even going to try. I'm butchering that. Um, so anyway, these are microwavable for two minutes. And on the picture, it just kind of looked like an empanada with like vegetable filling. And it looks really good. No MSG, no preservatives, made with sea salt. Just looks really good. So I thought I'd try that for lunch um, with something else. So picked up one of those. And you guys, the freezer section and the fridge section at Dollar Tree is always amazing, or at least in my Dollar Tree. So be sure to check it out. I picked up one of these Imperial Nuts Cranberry Blend. I can't talk today. Cranberry Blend. And this is the with peanuts, raisins, cranberries, pumpkin seeds, and almonds. And there was also another one that had more nuts in it, but I actually can't eat that many nuts. They kind of give me a headache and make me feel bad. I'm not allergic. They just don't, I don't know, I don't, I can't, I don't feel good. So I picked this one up because it was mostly, um, the only real nuts that would really make me feel sick in here are almonds. I'm okay with peanuts. Um, and pumpkin seeds are okay too. So I picked up one of these just for like a little healthy snack. Just looked really tasty. 
I picked up a pair of the Scrub Buddies large reusable gloves. I've been looking for those Brillo ones. I love those Brillo um, dishwashing gloves and I, they just never have them anymore. So I just picked up one of these Scrub Buddies ones because ours are getting a little bit gross. Time to throw them out. I picked up two of these Bumblebee Premium Light Tuna in water. Um, my husband likes to eat tuna salad and yeah, so I just picked up two of these and I like this packaging because you don't have to drain the tuna, which is really nice. And Bumblebee is a really good brand. Um, they had a couple more of these soups that I got the last time, the uh, New England Country Soup. And this one is in Yankee White Bean. Um, three beans, chicken, and spicy peppers. It looks really good. Um, I actually haven't eaten the um, tomato one that I got the last time. It's been so hot, guys. I just haven't even felt like eating soup. I did try the chicken, uh, Mama's Chicken Soup or something one, and it was really tasty. And this one looks delicious. I love bean soup. So I picked up one of these. They also had a chicken corn chowder, but I'm just not really big on chicken chowders. So I didn't pick that one up. I picked up this um, Brox, or I guess it's called Brox, uh, Brox Sea Salt Caramel Swirls, and these are soft and chewy, made with milk made caramel swirled with rich cream and a touch of sea salt, and I love salt and caramel together. These look so good, and funny story, when I lived in Chicago, we actually had a, like, I guess it was one of their stores, like candy stores there, because I think they actually make these. Yeah, they actually make these um, in Illinois. They make them in Oak Brook Terrace, which isn't too far away from where I was living in Chicago. And so I guess they have like little candy stores all around and they actually used to have these um, types of candies in there, all the Brox candies. Me and my mom used to go in there all the time and get bags of candy. It was so cool. So I love their candies. These look really good and, and um, new. Actually, I've never seen those before. I picked up some of this Lady Speed Stick Powder Fresh Invisible Dry. I love this stuff. Last time I used it, I really, really liked it. And they had it at the Dollar Tree. So I picked it up. I love it. It's got that powdery um, scent to it. I just really like it. I loved it the last time. Really um, worked good when I was sweating and stuff. I picked up one hand soap because I still had some left. but. Um, I didn't ever see this one before. It's the Dial Lemon Citrus Hand Soap. So, picked up one of those. Love getting all the hand soaps at the Dollar Tree. They're always such a good buy. And I also picked up some more Palm Olive again. Um, I think this is probably my favorite one. This and the Blue Dawn. And I just love the smell of it. So, picked up another bottle of that because we always need more. And this is the last bag jam packed with stuff. So. I picked out a Father's Day card for my dad, and I love these cards they have at Dollar Tree. They're so like cool and um, just really like fancy looking. Love that. And it just says, from both of us, happy Father's Day to the most amazing dad ever. And I was just going to sign it from me and my husband um, from both of us because we're both giving him like some Father's Day gifts. So yeah, picked up one of those. They had so many new um, organization and storage containers. If you guys are doing any kind of organizing or storage stuff, check out the Dollar Tree. Um, I didn't really need any, but I did pick this up, and it's a vegetable and dip container with lid. And I think this is really cool because it's got a separate little cup that you can put dip or caramel or whatever yogurt in there. And then it's got a little section where you can put snacks or vegetables. And I thought this was great. Um, hopefully here soon I'll be starting a new job um, in medical assisting. I'm about to do my externship and I'm probably going to be taking my lunch a lot with me. So this will come in handy then. And also this just looks handy um, if you want to just cut up like some fruit or some vegetables and put some dip in there. Just kind of keep in the fridge for when you need a snack. So I did pick up one of those. I picked up one of these Glade solid air fresheners um, in the clean linen scent to put in the bathroom because I just really like them. They make them smell nice. So I picked up one of those. I also picked up, these are new also, i never seen these before. These are the Air Fresh Odor Eliminating for Pets Fresh Scent uh, Candles and it says compared to Febreze and I love the smell. It's got just a really 
fresh, um, clean scent to it. Just really like that. A little bit powdery, but just has a really nice, fresh, clean smell. So I thought I'd get this um, just to kind of neutralize any pet odors or um, just whatever in the apartment. It, we always get odors from other apartments into our apartment via the um, vents and stuff. So yeah, definitely needed one of these and those were new. So that was kind of cool. I picked up these two bars of the Dial Lavender and Twilight Jasmine soaps. I actually have never tried this one. Not this fragrance, anyway. I love Dial soap, so this is an antibacterial soap. I love their soaps. Um, rich, creamy lather, not drying, all day odor protection. So, picked up one of those. This is also something new. I've never seen this before. This is a Colgate. Max Fresh Shockwave Electric Mint with Whitening. So this is something new and I picked it up. Really excited about trying it. It looks like it'd be really, really refreshing. And um, I do love Colgate toothpaste. Mind-blowing long-lasting freshness. Mind-blowing. So definitely have to pick that up. Um, picked up this Swan Nail Polish Remover with in the strengthening one for gelatin and natural nails pick this up because I was out. I picked up some more of the Suavitel. This is the morning sun um, smell. I actually don't think I've ever tried the morning sun. I, I think I tried the field flowers. Oh, this smells really, really good. Really fresh. I'm actually doing laundry today, so I'm about to take this and use it to do my laundry, but love Suavitel fabric softeners. I love it a lot. I picked up one of these e.l.f. Um, this is the Teal Dream eyeshadow um, quad and I just really like the colors. I love e.l.f. eyeshadows. I've seen this in there before several times and I was just like, eh, I don't know if I need it, eh, I don't know if I need it. And I think this tan color is what kind of drew me to it. I, I really like that for like a natural look. So I went ahead and picked it up and um, we'll see what happens with it. I also picked up this Milani nail polish. They never have a lot of Milani nail polishes in my Dollar Trees for some reason. So when I do see one, I definitely pick it up. This one is in dark coffee and it's hard to see, but it's just a really dark coffee brown color. I thought that was really pretty and nice and it'll be really nice for the fall too, um, when it is fall again. And I don't have any brown nail polishes, so good timing. I am winding down. I picked up this um, LA Colors Bold Lash Mascara in Berry Black. Um, this has been around a little while. I just never tried it. Um, I heard it was really good. I've heard it was not clumpy and that it made your lashes longer. Um, lash defining brush, it says. I just heard really good things about it, so I thought, why not? I'll try it out. And lastly, I was so excited to find this um, one of these because I didn't see it the last time I was there. Now, you guys remember the last time I got those color bombs, and I love them, the LA Colors color bombs. And I said that I was probably going to go back and repurchase the red and the orange that I saw the last time, but I was like, eh, I don't know. So I went back this time, and they still had them, um, but they also had another color, and I was so excited. Um, I did pick up the orange, and this one is in Wham, so it's this bright coral orange color. I think that's going to be so pretty. Um, yeah, I definitely really like that. And I picked up this one. This is in Swoon, and this is a beautiful nude color. They didn't even have this one the last time I was in there. I am so excited. Oh my gosh, because I, I love nude lip colors and this is like exactly what I was wishing. I was like, please let them make like a nude color one and they did. So I was really excited. These are awesome guys. If you guys haven't got these yet, you have to get them. They're actually pigmented. They're awesome. They moisturize your lips. I didn't pick up the red because I really don't see myself wearing it. I'm not a red lipstick person at all. I was thinking about it, but no. I just decided to pick this one instead because I liked it so much. Um, so yeah, picked up two of those, and that's actually everything this time. So I kind of got a little bit of everything. I got some new things. I got some stuff I already got, usually. Um, but yeah, I found a lot of new items. So I hope you guys enjoyed my Dollar Tree haul this time. This was definitely a little bit of a long one. Uh, be sure to check in next week for my next Dollar Tree haul. You never know what I'll find in the Dollar Tree. It's always a surprise. So. 
I'll catch you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out and follow my Instagram for more Dollar Tree uh, photos and product finds that I don't show on my haul. So catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.